Hey guys, Justin with Landscaping Entrepreneur. Today is May 24th. Um, things have been going really well lately, honestly, and um, kind of too well because it makes me feel like one of the things not gonna go so well. But uh, yeah, things are pretty much on cruise control. I've been able to come in later every day and um, I'm actually trying to spend more time out of the office so they become more dependent on themselves versus uh, always coming to me about everything. Um, also, I just don't want to be there all the time, but, you know, I guess it's half and half, both the reasons, um, but I'm still keeping my eyes on everything. Uh, the other, uh, the two things I've been kind of working on is, uh, one is uh, accountability for door hangers because we had an issue last week where I actually had to go out mowing because, um, and again, if I wasn't in the office, so they would have made it happen another way, but I went out mowing and because one of the crews didn't make up their full schedule, they didn't get their work done. Um, but it's actually good because I saw someone else making a video uh, about something similar, about how it's good to get out in the field sometimes and test out your own systems, which is exactly, you know, I can exactly relate to that because when I was out there, I was realizing just how much time you have to put out door hangers, this and that, and, and problem, you know, little things with your own systems that you don't use every day so you don't notice, but you think of, and you got nothing else going on and you're just out there cutting grass, so you think about these things. So anyhow, this, by going out mowing, um, I was able to realize, you know, the accountability for the door hangers. I've been trying to think of a way to make sure they put them out and I have a little checklist after the job, you know. I had a way that you had to put out, you had to type in the house number after for each house you put up the door hangers but they were just typing in random numbers in there plus i don't really monitor it so while i was out the other day i was thinking oh they can take pictures of them on the doors but that's not really that feasible either and it's kind of you know not good for the people's doors you go to the probably wise is weird of taking pictures in my house so but what i came up with is um is on the back of the paper time sheets you make them do i just have a list of addresses and they're not going to get credit for the leads they get 20 bucks a lead unless they have the address written on the back and then since we collect these every day we'll be able to see who's putting them out and who's not and um, I eventually I want to have um, you know quotas they have to make like 50 a month or something but I just don't have a good way but this is a good way to get it started so I anyway I, I made that up it's on the back of all the timesheets now and the other thing we're I've been working on is uh, buying a tractor so pretty much every piece of equipment that comes to a point when you're like, well, we spent a lot of money renting this, we're renting it a lot, it wouldn't be great if we just had it at our disposal, we didn't have to commit to a half a day or a whole day, that type of thing. Um, so the, the tractor, last year, I think we spent $3,700 renting it. This year so far, we spent like $3,400 and it's only the spring. To make payments on a tractor, it would be $500 a month or six grand a year, which since it's May now, our payments wouldn't be till June, so we spent three grand this year renting it, or sorry, three grand making payments and we'd spend about the same to buy it. So I'm buying a tractor and although it's scary, you know, taking on say 35 grand more of debt, it really, it's like we're not gonna ever not rent it anymore. We're not gonna go out of business tomorrow when all of a sudden we decide we don't need a tractor at all. So I think it's gonna be a good smart move. We're gonna get material delivered to the shop. It's stuff I've been wanting to do anyway and now I finally can justify it because it's really not taking on an additional expense. So uh, that's what uh, that's what I've been working on, and um, I'll keep you guys posted.